Phillips will be ready. Freaking right. Good Sunday morning to everybody. Well, the cart's coming along real good. It is. Freaking right it is. I uh, was tinkering around the garage last night. Had the old tunerooskies just a cranked, I did. Hey, just enjoying myself, I was. So, didn't do much video recording. But, uh, she's coming along real good, she is, eh? How's everybody doing today? Freaking right, you better be. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell bar button too, eh? Why wouldn't you? Boys! I did a few things yesterday. Not much, eh? Just a few. I started a little bit of wiring on you. I, I cheated on you, I did. Freaking right, I did. But I kind of got that thing started. And, uh... Got to get some voltage controllers, boys. This old cart, when she's running, let me just give this a little tip of rooski here, boys. Let me just tip this up for you. Hey, why wouldn't I? Friggin' right I will. When this old girl's running, she, uh, that alternator generator there makes about 16.7 volts, boys. That thing is just cranking out the voltage it is. Hey, big time. I got a circuit breaker on here for now. Hey, for the old switch rooski, so I gotta, it's like a dead man shut off, hey? I wanna see if anybody's got any ideas and you know of um, a remote control on off for the auxiliary. That would be decent. So when I come up to it, I hit it and it turns the power on to the front. I need one of them for sure. If I leave this on, that stays on, boys. So I need a way to remotely turn on the accessories I do. I'm trying to tune it right now, I am. I'm having a little tuning issue here. These things come with a canister, would only allow so much air in. So I've duct taped up the old spectrum there. I'm trying to get the thing running a little better. And it was smoking your dicks in here last night, but uh, I'm getting there, I am. Hey, I almost got it choked off enough to run properly. That's gonna be just like playing around and this and that and the other thing for like ever until I figure out how exactly, what air to fuel mixture she wants because I've got the needle out all the way on the carburetor, so she's getting as much fuel as possible. But uh, she's still getting too much air, boys, because if I choke her off, she runs smoother. So i got to choke her off some more, and uh, I don't have to choke her off some more. I haven't tried it since I taped that up, but I'm hoping by choking her off, she might, uh, she might balance her out a little better, eh? Unless I get a different carb rejet it and, you know, let it get more fuel, boys. i got a couple of these things hooked up for you. I, I ran one line from the battery up to this and then i just ran to these cup holders for now boys but look at that eh freaking right drink from the old water tap boys hey why wouldn't you but that's pretty freaking decent i noticed that uh when i stain this it, it's darker than that so you know what i think i might have forgot to shake the can boys before you did the other part so guess what you don't have to restain the whole damn thing hey but i'm not worried about it right now i'm gonna see how this dries see if it fades up a little bit but uh, mounted the old headlights on there, I did. And uh, had another one go out on me, boys. So them lights are just dickered. But uh, we'll get that one working. I gotta get a voltage regulator. I'm gonna drop them down to nine volts so they can't get any more than nine volts. And I think that'll be friggin' decent. Might need a steering wheel, just saying. Steering wheel don't look too good, so we might have to get one of them on order. Friggin' right we will. Gotta finish the back deck rooski there where the old maybe subwoofer is going. I'm having second thoughts on a subwoofer, boys. Definitely not having second thoughts on putting a stereo right about here. Having some thoughts on a subwoofer. I don't know, boys. Even though she makes 16.7 volts, man, she'd, she'd make one hell of a stereo system in here, wouldn't it? Get lots of voltage, it is. But it's dirty than dicks, hey? It hasn't been this dirty since I did her, boys. Things are going pretty good, they are, hey? A little bit of graphics. A little bit of graphics on the old bitch, boys. Hey? But uh, this is where... I'm going to be on right now is on the back bumper and situation. So this would be a decent spot for a subwoofer though. I'll probably do it, but just not right away, boys. The money's tight. It's Christmas time, it is. But uh, we got to work at these things slow, we do. I've got pretty far on this thing in a short amount of time. I've had her, boys. Man, you can all agree to that. But hopefully like the carbon fiber on the kick. I decided to do that instead because it's quick and easy. I can remove it if I don't like it. And I'm just kind of playing around, boys. That looks pretty freaking decent. Put the lightning bolt down there so that when the gas pedal is full throttle, she don't hit the freaking paint job, eh? Freaking right it did. Got this mount a little better. Still doesn't fit 100%, but still waiting for the ignition key too so I can get a new key because this thing doesn't like to stay in. It just falls out. That's why she's tied up, boys, if you're wondering. Freaking right you are. Oh, boys, I gotta, see, I gotta lift the lid to shut the accessories off. Freak seeks. Yeah, definitely need a remote control for that. That way you don't have to lift the lid every time. 
I am getting an actuator that will hook on here and it will swing to about here somewhere, boys. But the lid will only go about this high. I measured it and that's as far as I can get it. But I'm going to make that electric too. So I just hit the button and the lid goes up. Friggin' right. Why wouldn't I? So we'll shut this off. Decent. There you go. Main shut off. Why wouldn't I? Other than that, it's coming along pretty good. And uh, like I said, when I get wiring up the other headlight here, I got some undercarriage lighting coming that will wire up together. We'll do that together. I get some brake lights coming, which we'll do together. And we'll get that thing fabricated. And then maybe we'll start uh, working on the stereo system. But I need, I, was, I had an old DAC in my drawer, but it's not going to work. It's too deep. So I need one of them new, what they call media units. Hey, multimedia player, boys. Because they're like only this deep. And that's all I need because I Bluetooth the cock out of everything I do. Hey, why wouldn't I? Thanks a lot for all the freaking comments you guys are making. They're, they're freaking decent. And hopefully, like the Kartorowski, I did get back my controller, boys. Controller's back for the other golf cart it is, hey? With an instruction manual to check over what might be bad on the cart. I did repair the motor like you've seen, but uh, I gave it to Stevie, and Stevie's redoing her anyways for me. Is He's giving the old Dipperuski to make sure the motor's going to be decent, boys, because I did catch a few of them wires when I was cleaning them off. I, I'll admit it, I kind of cocked it over. But if anybody has an easy go or any kind of golf cart that's electric, your controller's bad, I got a guy for you, I do. Pretty all right, I do. You send it to him, and he fixes it for 100 bucks, boys, US, hey? So that's a lot better than spending five, six hundred dollars on a new controller. Freaking right it is. Oh, hold on, maybe I shouldn't really do that. There's a guy right there, boys, if you want to know, eh? Go to that website there and check him out. Why wouldn't you? If you got a golf cart that you need a controller rebuilt, go see him. I don't know if it works yet. I haven't tried it, but I'm taking his word for it. Because he told me exactly what was wrong with it, so it should be freaking decent. Eh? Pretty right, it should be decent. A lot of comments coming through and this and that and the other thing about things to do and things not to do and things to want to do and I, I love all your ideas. They're all friggin' awesome, boys. Unfortunately with this one, I'm just going to go with my gut and uh, just keep on going the direction I want to go, hey? And yeah, some of you might not like it, some of you will like it. That's the way it works, boys. That's the way YouTube is. Sometimes you like it, sometimes you don't, hey? Oh, how you doing? What's really going on? Toronto, Ontario. Who the heck is that? One of them stupid calls, boys. Hey, one of them calls where you have won or we'd like to give you or you'd like to bend over and show you how to... You know what, boys? Hey, right, right it is. It's one of them guys. But anyways, like I was saying, give me some ideas on a front bumper. It's probably gonna be wood, I'm telling you right now, with some steel brackets, because I gotta make some brackets for those old brackets to straighten them out. I think she's probably gonna be wood. Just, just saying. Hey, why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I make him out of wood? Why wouldn't I make him out of wood, boys? But she's definitely different. And I think I have her sold for five grand, boys. Friggin' right I do. Maybe, hey, maybe. Might have a hard time getting rid of this one. Friggin' right I will. I had a couple messages come through and they're interested in it for about five grand. That's a lot of money, boys, because I make myself probably about free. I got about 1,400 bucks into it and that's it. And most of it was rims. Hey, and some other stuff. But don't forget, hey, eh? that paint job is pretty sick. If you guys need your cars painted, don't forget to go see good old J&J &J Body Shop, eh? Hey? I had that wrong last time and Jamie texted me and gave me shit and he should have because I don't know what the hell I was thinking, boys. But it's J&J &J Body Shop it is. And they're one hell of a good bunch of people and they're one hell of a bunch of picky people. So if you want a nice job on a car, they did a Camaro in there that the tree dropped on her. And the paint job's better than factory it is. Friggin' right it is. You should see it, boys. It's beautiful. Hey? Eh? She is a uh, beautiful. But anyways, don't forget, if you get an accident or anything like that, and you need somebody to paint your car, go see good old J and J body shop there and make sure you tell your insurance company that's where you wanna go. Hey, eh? they can't tell you where to go, so make sure you tell them that's where you wanna go, boys. Girls, peoples. I just wanted to pop on here and have a morning coffee with you and give a little quick shoot shit. Hey, a little quick shoot shit, boys. But uh, hopefully everybody's having a good day and not doing anything I'm not doing. And uh, you know what to do for now. <laughs>